Hi, this is Damon with Muslin Turners, and this is The Local Table, presented by Springer Mountain Farms. Today I'm going to be presenting lamb meatloaf with peas, mint, and prosciutto. This is a really simple dish to put together at home. You really only need a couple of ingredients, and it's all put together in one pan. There's not a lot of prep work to do. So all we have is garlic and shallots. We have prosciutto, and you can use bacon at home. It's a little bit easier to get in your grocery store. We've got salt, pepper, peas, white wine, mint, butter, and we made fromage blanc. You can find that in a lot of stores, and you could use Greek yogurt as a great substitute for that. We got the lamb from a local farm, Gum Creek Farms, uh, which is in Rootville, Georgia. And it's the same farm that brings us a lot of pork that we use here in the restaurant. Every now and then, he calls us up and tells us he has a lamb handy, and we jump on it every time. Um, I blended the meatloaf with just a little bit of ground beef from Joyce Farms. They're featured regionally here around North Carolina to northern Georgia, and we feature them in our burger here in the restaurant, which is very well known, and it's a fantastic product. We have some spring peas that we got from the Turnip Truck, which is a group that provides restaurants throughout the area. It connects them with local farmers and gets stuff directly from the farm to here. It kind of cuts out the middleman. They do all the leg work for us. So it's a great service to have. Uh, the mint here actually came from my garden. So that's something anyone can do at home. Just throw it into a pot, throw it in your backyard. It grows everywhere. You can't get rid of it, so you'll have mint forever. Um, and then last but not least, we actually made this fromage blanc here. Fromage blanc means white cheese. It's a very simple, simple presentation, very easy to make at home. I actually ordered the starter kit from Amazon, and I just sprinkle it on top of a gallon of milk, ignore it in the corner for overnight, and the next thing you know, you have fromage blanc. Really easy to make, anyone can do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start up our pan, get the oil nice and hot. That's always key when anytime you're gonna be cooking, you don't want the oil to soak into everything, you wanna get a nice sear on it. So the first thing we're gonna add is our shallots and garlic and our prosciutto. We're going to add the prosciutto so that the fat actually renders out. That's going to give a lot of flavor to the dish. We're going to add our salt and our pepper. And you actually want to be a little bit careful with your salt if you're using prosciutto and bacon because they already have a good bit of salt in them as well. So you want to make sure and taste it as you're going. It doesn't take too long to get that started. You basically want your shallots to just get a little translucent, start to lighten up, and get a little bit of a sear to your garlic, but don't take it too far. You don't want it to burn. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your peas in. And season again. And once those go for just a moment, you're going to add your wine into there. And this is going to be the basis to your sauce. So you're going to let that kind of cook down just a little bit. And while we let that cook down, we're going to chop just a little bit of mint. I always like to chop the mint at the last second so it doesn't turn black on you. It tastes nice and fresh that way. So once that's done, pop that in. Last thing you're going to add is the secret to any restaurant is butter. So you add a couple pats of that. Turn off your heat at that point. And as this butter melts, it's going to emulsify into the, and that's what's going to create your nice kind of rich velvety sauce. And at that point, you're pretty much ready to serve. So all we do, set it onto our plate. All 
our meatloaf goes right on top. And here at the restaurant, we actually cook, finish that up on our big green egg, but at home, it's just, you can pop it straight in the oven or into the broiler, heats up really nice. A little bit of the fromage blanc on top, and you're done. Thanks for watching The Local Table, presented by Springer Mountain Farms. Thank you.